So I urge you that if you're not a Christian here today, repent and put your trust in Jesus Christ. And I'll just leave you with this one thought because a lot of people don't know what repentance is. And I ask them, is repentance something you say, something you think, or something you do? And a lot of people will jump up and say repentance is something you do, but it's not. It comes from the Greek word metanoia, which means to change your mind. Repentance is something you think. You need to change what you think about God. And if that happens, it will change what you say and change what you do, but it, ch it starts with a change of mind. And the next question is, if you're an atheist watching this, how do you change your mind about God? Well, the Bible says that you can't. Because if you could do it on your own without him, then you would have a reason to boast. But the Bible says that repentance is the gift of God so that no one can boast. Faith is a gift of God. Belief is a gift of God. You need to cry out to him. If you're having trouble believing, cry out to Jesus Christ and ask him for the grace to believe, and he will give it to you. And uh, thanks for having me on. Hey, Sai, I thought I would give a response to your urging to the unbeliever to repent and cry out. Um, you said, if I cry out, God will give me that desire to repent or the desire to believe in him. But if I can't repent, why is it that I can even cry out? If I can cry out to God, then couldn't I boast about that and say, hey, I cried out and you didn't? Does God give the gift of faith, belief, and repentance to everyone who asks? You made it sound like he does. Or does God just give those things to those whom he has chosen and predestined, his elect? I understand, Sai, that you don't know the mind of God, but ultimately, from God's perspective, what you're saying might not be true. You don't know that a person who cries out to God will receive repentance, faith, or belief. So in the interest of full disclosure, may I suggest that you say something like, repent, even though you can't unless God touches you first, or believe, even though you can't if you are not regenerated by the Holy Spirit, or have faith, even though only God can give you this gift, whether you ask for it or not. Cry out, even though only God's elect can do so. Then say, ultimately, from God's perspective, which is what really counts, that this gospel message will do nothing for you if God hasn't chosen you first. But I, sigh, am commanded to preach it anyhow to preach the good news that some will receive a glorious inheritance in heaven while others are doomed to hell regardless of any human effort.